Joining us in the studio is Abdel Bari Atwan, the editor-in-chief of the London-based Arabic newspaper Al Quds and author of the book A Secret History of Al Qaeda. Abdel Bari actually met Osama bin Laden in Tora Bora in 1996. You spent around three days with him. He's a very charismatic character from the descriptions. Did you find that? Yes, uh, he was charismatic in different way. He was very humble and he was a wealthy man belonging to one of the wealthiest uh, family in Saudi Arabia, he decided to actually leave all this wealth and live a very, very, you know, austerity way of life in Tora Bora caves and fighting for, uh, you know, what he believes is, you know, Islamic cause, fighting the Soviet troops in Afghanistan to liberate Afga Afghanistan from, you know, uh, Soviet occupation. So he, he wasn't actually in that time when I met him, the most wanted man on earth. Uh, so um, I was really surprised. Uh, and he wasn't really that intellectual, and uh, I expected. He tried to impress me with, you know, showing certain books, textbooks, and these kind of things. But uh, he, when I said he was very humble, uh, soft-spoken, uh, very polite, and eating very little, sleeping only three hours, and uh, uh, and even he took me in, in uh, a touristic tour in Tora Bora caves and. Uh, you know, he, he, he was very, very friendly at that time, but, you know, he didn't actually uh, bomb the American embassies in Nairobi and Dar es Salaam at that time. He wasn't planning for uh, the atrocities of 11th of September. But he was an incredibly cunning man because he had managed to evade his capture for so many years. Yes, definitely. Um, I remember he was very careful about every move. When I arrived at midnight, uh, which was very cold, freezing, about 25 degree, uh, you know, minus. So uh, they had a military maneuver uh, at that time because they expected maybe I could be followed, uh, the American, or maybe after them or something like that. So, so he, when it comes to security, he is very, very clever, very shrewd. So that's why he managed actually to, oh, to outfox, outwitted most of these Western intelligence service and to survive for 10 years. Imagine that, American are after him, British after him, French after him. And despite that, he managed to survive 10 years. This is, I believe, is a, a huge security failure from the Western side. So, uh, and uh, 10 years is a long time, How, you know, and also he managed to drag the West to two uh, wars, you know, a war in Afghanistan, a war in Iraq, and look at the cost of these wars. Look, when a human cost more than 4,000 American soldiers, or more, more the same thing about maybe 300 British soldiers, and billions of dollars, more than a trillion dollars, the cost of this war. So he inflicted damages on the West more than actually that Soviet empire in its 70 or 80 years. And what's remarkable is his hiding place, because it wasn't in the Tora Bora Caves where yeah. you met him. Yeah. It was in a huge compound, a, a million pound mansion described by some, uh, next within a stone's throw of a military academy. Yes, that's why when I said, you know, he outwitted these intelligence services, because he know he goes to places or nobody expect him to be there and this is this is very very clever uh, and at the top of, I, I think the woman who was killed with him uh, this is his latest wife his youngest wife and she is a Yemeni uh, her name is Amal Al Sada and uh, she actually when he married her she was 16 or 17 years of age so probably she was uh, with him in that time in that compound and maybe one of her sons actually were, were, were killed in this in this bombing so we don't know yet but the question is why they didn't capture him why they didn't besiege him why actually they were patient and, and you know to see him in person in, in, in captivity like Saddam Hussein for example why we, we, we didn't see him you know in the docks behind the bars you know so that that could be much much better but it seems it's a mission to kill and also other question which is really amazing me puzzling me why they buried him in the sea you know why we cannot see, see him uh, you know in person they paraded the uh, corpses of uh, to, to Saddam Hussein to San Oday and Kosai and they, they let the media uh, come in and uh, you know show us the pictures why we can't see that and also, it could be very dangerous to bury him in the sea because this is un-Islamic, you know. He should be buried in a grave like everybody else. So there are a lot of question marks about this operation. I'm waiting to know in order to give, you know, maybe, maybe better picture about the whole situation. Lots of questions that all of us still have. Abdel Bari Atwan, who has actually met Osama bin Laden, thank you very much for your time. No